Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm the Marketplace Director here at Levanta and I'm going to show you around the Creator Dashboard. When you log in, you'll be taken to the summary page where you can see the number of active brands that you're currently partnered with as well as the number of outstanding brand invites that require your attention. If you scroll down, you'll see an overview of your performance which by default is set at the last 30 days, but you can toggle to broader time ranges by clicking on these presets or by clicking through the calendar and selecting a broader time range or custom time range. If you scroll down, you can also see a visualization of this data and you can toggle between those metrics here. If you scroll down further, you can also see your top products as well as your top brands. If we click into the discovery tab, this is probably where you'll spend most of your time. Here you can see all products available on Levanta regardless of your relationship status. So you can see here brands that you're partnered with and have access to those products. You also see brands where you don't have a partnership currently, but you can apply. To do so, you'll click into a product, click apply for access, read through the terms and conditions here. If you agree, click yes, and then click confirm. That will send the invite over to the brand for them to accept, which they should do fairly quickly. You'll also see products from brands um, where you've been invited but haven't yet accepted the invite. So to do that, you'll click accept partnership, read through the terms and conditions, click yes if you agree, and then confirm again, and you'll immediately have access to those products. When you click into a product page, you'll see the price, the bestseller rank, the rating, you'll see the brand that it's coming from, the category, the stock status, and then you can also see, most importantly, the commission rate that's being paid to you. Should you decide to start promoting one of these products, you can click create new link here. By default, our mobile optimized links will show up. This ensures that users who are shopping on mobile are driven to the Amazon app, which can typically improve conversion rates. So we recommend using the mobile optimized links. However, it's important to note that if you're using any sort of link shortener, like tinyurl or bit.ly, you should uncheck this mobile optimized link and take the raw link. Even if you're not using a URL shortener, you can uncheck that box and use a longer link um, because it also allows you to visualize the link. When you click see advanced options, you can add source information here. Sources are a really powerful tool to get more granular insights on your links. So what a lot of our creators do is apply sources like the channel in which they're promoting that link. So Facebook or Instagram or a newsletter or on their blog or on their website. You can also add source information that includes the author or um, the page URL that you're posting it to if you only have a website and wanted to understand the referring page information to know where that traffic was coming from. We don't recommend getting terribly granular with your source information like using a click ID or anything that's particularly um, niche because Amazon cohorts conversion data, meaning you have to have 10 clicks against a link in order to unlock visibility into that conversion data. What that means is every time you change the source, Amazon views it as a new link against which you have to hit that 10 click threshold. So we really strongly encourage the use of source information. We just don't recommend getting terribly granular. If you see here, I'll apply this source. It updates the link and then click save and copy and that link can go be posted in content. Also in the discovery tab, you can browse deals. This is a really, really powerful place to come, um, especially around major events like Prime Day or Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Here, you can access deals before they go live to plan content and build distribution strategies. And you can also add filters to look at deals that might start on a specific date like Black Friday or Prime Day, or look up all the upcoming deals that start at any time in the future. Also in the discovery tab, you can click discover with AI. Here you can query lists for events like best gifts for Mother's Day, or you can query category specific lists like best skincare to get a list of the top performing skincare products. If we click into the brand catalog, here you will see um, all of the brands that are available on Levanta as well as your relationship status. Um, and this can be a really helpful way to sort of understand what brands are currently available on Levanta. If we click into the cost per click tab, here you can see all of the available CPC campaigns that you have access to. CPC campaigns are a great way to reduce risk when exploring new products or partnerships as you're paid per click instead of per conversion. For most of our creators, CPC campaigns can also unlock additional distribution strategies 
like newsletter placements or social promotion or even search promotion as it's a lot easier to forecast your outcomes on a CPC campaign. Here you'll see the CPC campaign or the CPC rate being offered to you, the number of remaining clicks in the campaign, the time frame through which the budget is live if the budget is not depleted first monetarily, and also the percent to completion of that budget. So you can kind of understand how much budget is remaining in a campaign and decide if it's worth joining or not. To join a CPC campaign, you'll click into it and click create new link. Here you'll take this shortened link and save and copy and go promote it in content. One thing to note is that expanded links like we've talked about before are not available on CPC campaigns because once the CPC campaign is depleted, our system will automatically revert that traffic to the existing CPA campaign so that your links never stop monetizing. This means that once a CPC campaign ends, the budget is depleted or the end date is reached, you, your content will continue to monetize and your links will continue to work and you'll continue earning. It'll just be through a CPA model. Also in the discovery tab, you can look at lists. Lists are great for being able to favorite products that, so that you can easily, easily reference them, um, including frequently promoted products or the Levanta team puts together lists with recommended products from um, top brands for temple events like Mother's Day and Father's Day, Prime Day, holiday gifting, etc. This is a really great place to reference top products and brand ideas. If we go into the partnership section, it'll automatically take you to the invites tab. The invites tab will show you all of the outstanding brand invites that require your attention. You can either accept the invite, agree to the terms and conditions, or you can reject the invite. We don't recommend rejecting many invites because you wanna have access to as many products as possible so that your content strategy can be as diverse as possible. You can also see the brands to which you've applied but the brand hasn't yet accepted and all of the brands that you have rejected, which again, we don't recommend, but there might be some existing partnerships or something like that where you don't want to accept a partnership on Levanta. If we click into my brands, you can see the same overview um, of your existing brand partnership. So these are brands that you have access to and have accepted their invite, they've accepted your invite. And then you can see a list of all the products that you have access to as well as their price and the commission rate being offered to you. If you wanted to come in here, you could click into a product and create a link from this section as well. Now we'll go into the reports section. In reports, you can see your overall performance as you see here. You can also toggle again between these presets or a customized date range here. You can see a product report, brand report, your earnings from CPC campaigns, and any breakdown in source report if you are using sources. If you're not, everything will just fall under the default. If you go into the performance report, you can also add filters easily here to look at a specific brand's performance over a period of time. You can look at a specific product, uh, product's performance over time, or you can look at a sources report over time and you can layer these filters, which can be really helpful for getting better data insights overall. You can also export these reports if you wanted to look at them in some sort of external intelligence tool or even Excel. Finally, we'll go into settings. So here you can add team members um, to your account. It's important to note that you should always add team members from your existing account um, by going to team and inviting new members. This ensures that when they accept the invite, they are logged into your existing account, not uh, creating a new account altogether where they wouldn't have visibility into your existing performance. You should also make sure that your bio is up to date and that you include information about what kind of content you write, how you promote your content, what categories perform best, etc. Also here, you should include an email address should a brand need to get in touch with you off of our platform. Here, you can toggle your notification settings. We recommend keeping most of this on. However, we know that the email can grow to be quite a lot. So you might change some of these settings to just notify you in app. Um, but I would have a look through this just to make sure that you're um, staying on top of any important notifications that come. If you need to access your API key, you can do so here. And finally, in the settings section, you can set up message templates. 
Message templates can be really helpful if you are planning to simplify outreach to your brands um, around tentpole events or have any sort of specific offerings that you wanted to make brands aware of, or if you're looking to introduce yourself to brands repeatedly so you don't have to type out the same message over and over. To access messaging, you'll click up here on this little message bubble and you will click create a new message, select the brand with which you want to message, and then you can type out your message here. If you wanted to access your templates that you'd created, you would click here, search a template, and it would insert it. Likewise, you can also request commission rate changes here. So you'll click into that little dollar sign, select the products for which you want to request an increased rate, scroll down, put in your uh, in rate request here, and then send the request for the brand to accept or deny. We also typically recommend following that up with some information about how you plan to promote that brand in exchange of that rate increase. We know nothing can be guaranteed in exchange, but it can be really helpful um, to note to a seller what an increased rate may unlock for them, like incentivizing increased coverage or promotion, um, or potentially unlocking a newsletter placement or something like that um, to, to help them understand what that rate increase will get. I hope this walkthrough has been helpful. For any additional resources, please refer to our knowledge base and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Happy promoting!